MJ20 question 31. Now we are looking at the electric fuel question. Oh, by the way, this question has appeared before in the past year. Like before MJ20. So it's a repeat. That means a lot of people got it wrong. And so <clears throat> Cambridge is like, let's ask it again. Okay, a small charge Q placed in the electric field of a large charge Q, big Q. Both charges experience a force F. I mean, they are attracting each other or they are repelling each other. I don't know. What is the electric field strength of charge Q at position of charge Q? Wow, many Qs. Let's draw it out, shall we? You have a big Q. And this fella is going to have a very strong electric field. Well, this, I'm going to assume it's the big one. Okay, so that's the green field. I'll try my best. I don't know whether it's positive or negative, so I'm just not going to draw the arrows. Then you have your tiny little charge Q placed somewhere. I'll just assume it's here. Baby charge Q also has electric field, but we don't care about it. <laughs> Both charge experience a force on each other. So <clears throat> the big charge will, I guess, pull or attract. Let's, 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 let's assume we're going to attract. Attract charge Q. But at the same time, small charge Q is going to attract the big force. A uh, big charge Q, same magnitude. That's what we're talking about. But they're asking us what is the electric field strength of charge Q at the small Q. So electric field strength of charge Q is what we're looking for. How would you find electric field strength? You know the equation F equals to QE, the general equation? Let's use that. F equals to QE. But which F, which Q, which E? Here is why I color code this thing. So the force is the same either way. They both experience the same force. Which Q do you use? This Q is the test charge, force acting on the charge. So we're going to use a small blue Q. Now the E will be... Why is there a force acting on the blue Q? Because it is sitting in the green field of the big charge. So this is the green electric field where the charged particle is in. And we're trying to find E. So therefore, we can say F over Q, this one. Don't confuse it with B, because it's like F over Q, F over Q, how do I know which one is it? If you are looking at B, this is looking at the force acting on Q due to electric field of Q. So it's a different perspective. If I want to if I want to find the answer for B, I would draw this picture differently. Maybe I would draw this instead. Something like that. So I want to look at oh electric field of the small particle that affects the big particle. Ah, you see the difference between these two pictures? Hmm. So be careful, small trap there. But doable. Any questions, just comment below. We'll answer it. Somebody will answer it. We'll get to it. All right. Next question. Next video.